What's going on friends? Hope everybody's doing well. Today I wanted to show you a cool instant activity idea for a four square lesson. I call it the two square mixer and uh, it's a hit every year. I also try to use this activity um, as kind of like a bonus challenge for my more advanced second grade classes um, if we can get to it since they don't actually learn the game of Foursquare but it is like a good lead up into that. Um, so that's kind of like my stretch goal for my second grade classes that are a little more advanced and this is how I intro my third through fifth Foursquare lesson as our instant activity. So hope you enjoy it and have an awesome day. All right friends, welcome back to week number three. Hope you're having a great day, hope you had a great weekend. Today we're going to be starting our recess training, we're going over four squares, so for our instant activity today we're going to be working on a game called two square mixer that will help us to practice those four square skills. So in the game what we're going to be doing is playing a little game of two square. To refresh you on the rules of four square, because it is the same basic rules for two square. Before we start, maybe I'd like to help you do a quick example. Alright, um, when you're playing the game, you're going to be raising your hands out of this. You have two squares. Now, since we have uh, uh, two squares next to us, could two more people be playing another game right here? Yes. Yeah, we share the four square court. We'll play a separate game here. They'll play a separate game here. We're just going to play one point. How many points do we play? One. Just play one point. And then whoever wins, you're going to do a fist bump, high five. It's a good game. And then the winner will raise their hand in the air. If you lose, you're going to jog one lap and you'll go find a new partner to play. So you're going to play a new partner every point. All right, doesn't matter who serves. Whenever you get a new partner, you're gonna always bounce it one time on your square first before you hit it. We're doing underhand hits, so it's regular two square. So I'm gonna bounce it, hit it. It's gonna bounce it. Ellery square, she will hit it underhand. You will bounce it my square until somebody makes a mistake. Make sense? Common mistake would be if I let it bounce twice, if I hit the middle line, inside lines are out. Or I say inside's out. Inside out. If you hit the outside lines in, so you play it. And then um, you have to let it bounce one time in your square. So if Ellery hits it to me and then I do it before it bounces, then I'll be out as well. Ellery, are you ready? Yes. All right, so you got your hands ready. You're going to bounce it one time. Back and forth. That was an overhand hit. Oh, let it go. I'm going to keep playing it. All right. I'm going to get a decent point going. Oh, we tried. <laughs> so you this one. Ellery was going to I'm going to raise my hand. I'll be in the heart. Make sense. So when I say go, you're going to get a partner, get a ball from the bucket, find two squares. After you play one point, you fist bump by five. If you won, you'll stay there with the ball. If you did not win, you jog a lot, find a new partner. Any questions? All right, go ahead and find a partner.